You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. Well, we've talked about this before. Most predominantly on this channel, we talk about Leah Thomas and what she has done, he has done, to destroy female sports and so many of the transgenders coming in, competing against females, dominating female sports, and uh, kind of kind of trying to render female sports obsolete uh, for no other better way of putting it. But one of the things we've been very vocal about is the safety of the athletes When we start talking about combat sports, a.k.a. boxing, MMA, things like that, I've said, a woman's going to get Apollo Creed out there, okay? Plain and simple. We know how that went in Rocky IV. Well, the World Boxing Council, the WBC, they are also worried about that. And in turn, they are looking to ban transgenders from fighting women. This is the Daily Wire WBC president, we're considering transgender boxing league to protect women fighters. The president of the World Boxing Council, Mauricio Suleiman Saldivar, is considering a proposal to create a league solely for transgender boxers in order to protect female fighters from getting seriously hurt. The proposal will be discussed at the next WBC annual convention. Quote, We have contemplated making the proposal of a league for transgender fights. He told the media outlet, we've had this this ongoing forum. What we are looking for is to avoid a security and danger situation with a potential accident in the ring. It is something that definitely has to be addressed to have a formal position on the part of boxing. You can get into confusion in the sense of wanting to divert from the subject. It's not boxing medical but boxing equality discrimination and that's why we're going to address the issue with all the responsibility and care it requires quote there are medical studies specific issues and it will be on the agenda of the next convention our position regarding women's boxing is absolute and total protection good job in no other way are they going to change the conditions for women's fights Dealing with such a delicate issue where a woman possibly participates in a fight, there must be total and absolute regulation. The body, the skeleton of a man, and a woman are different. Amen. There are many issues. Everything is complicated and delicate. Podcast host Joe Rogan, who won the U.S. Open Championship Taekwondo Tournament as a lightweight when he was 19 and later served as color commentator for the UFC, harshly criticized transgender MMA fighter Fallon Fox in 2013, snapping. Quote, she calls herself a woman, but I tend to disagree. And uh, she, um, she used to be a man, but now she has had, she's transgender, which is an official term that means you've gone through it, right? And when she wants to be able to fight women in MMA, I say no effing way. I say if you had a dick at one point, In time, you also have all the bone structure that comes with having a dick. You have bigger hands, bigger shoulder joints. You're an effing man. That's a man, okay? You can't have it. That's it. I don't care if you had a dick anymore. (laughs) Rogan did continue, by the way. You can't fight women. That's effing crazy. I don't know why she thinks... That's going to be, she's going to be able to do that. If you want to be a woman in the bedroom and you want to know, and you know, you want to play house and all that other shit, and you feel like you have, your body is really a woman's body trapped inside a man's frame, and so you got an operation, that's all good in the hood. But you can't fight chicks. Get the F out of here. You're out of your mind. You need to fight men, you know, period. You need to fight me in your size because you're a man. You're a man without a dick. (laughs) God. Joe Rogan is always going to bring the fire. But he made those comments several years ago, actually. Um, But 
look, the WBC president is right. Joe Rogan's right. When it comes to combat sports, you just can't have this. A woman's going to get her neck broke out there, okay? That's, that's just the simple truth of it, okay? I mean, society is... It's weird how this has happened because... As a society, we has a, we have always frowned so largely on the idea of men beating women. It's always been, I'm going to use an SJW term here, God help us all. You, it's like one of the most toxic things you can possibly do is a man beating on a woman. You know you're superior in size, strength, joints, hand size, wingspan, the whole nine. You can hurt a woman. Okay, without nearly the effort, and that is the other thing. Okay, and they're trying to step in and stop this. We've already seen this in MMA. Some promotion out there last year, I did a video on it. It was a huge video. Elena McLaughlin, MMA, former Army Ranger. How does that happen? Former Army Ranger that got in an MMA ring against a female. I mean, come on. You're trying to say that's fair? Absolutely not. All competitive advantages aside, safety is a major, major concern in combat sports. I applaud the WBC. They're saying the safety and protection of women is absolute with the World Boxing Council. Bravo. It's the way it should be. Should be that way in all sports, by the way. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports. You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now.